Day 15, Educational System Recovery. Deuteronomy 6, 67 says, And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. Proverbs 2, 1 to 6 also states, My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding, yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as a silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God, for the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Father, we come to you as children, seeking your ways in our times. The coronavirus has forced a reset in the way we do school. We ask that you use this reset to accomplish your purposes. We lift up our school systems as they grapple with how to re-engage the schools and how to reintegrate our children and adults back into classrooms from preschool to colleges. Help our administrators and teachers come up with creative ideas for every need. Give them divine wisdom and ideas for how to connect with each student Strengthen and give endurance to our teachers to fight the good fight of faith. Help them notice students that are failing to engage in online school or in the classroom. Let the teachers have tenacity to advocate for students whose home situation is unstable. We pray for an extra measure of grace for these teachers and students and for godly order in each home. Give teachers creativity and skills to keep the students focused when doing their computer classes. We release the love of the Father to work through these teachers to give the students a vision of hope. We release the love of the Father to work through these teachers to give the students a vision and a hope. Help the students to be authors and finishers of their schoolwork. Give them a heart to achieve and do schoolwork as unto you with a spirit of excellence. In Jesus' name, we ask for practical strategies to overcome educational hurdles for school systems, teachers, parents, and students. Help each child accomplish educational goals even though their school year was disrupted. We pray for parents who are not actively involved with their children's school work, that they would take an interest and be a part of providing reinforcement at home. Let this year be a starting point of new parental engagement and support of students and teachers to accomplish educational goals. Lord, we ask for resources for parents to be good stewards with their children for love, food, shelter, time, value, stability, supervision, and discipline, and to take this responsibility seriously. We know that your son Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, the light of the world. Thank you for giving us children and the opportunity of raising the next generation to godliness and good works. As a society, we repent of going our own way for allowing ungodly cultural ideologies to direct the educational flow of not looking out for the needs of others, for considering what we know to be more important than who we are. Thank you for giving us children and the opportunity of raising the next generation to godliness and good works. As a society, we repent of going our own way for allowing ungodly cultural ideologies to direct the educational flow, of not looking out for the needs of others, for considering what we know to be more important than who we are. 
as parents, we repent for being disengaged in our children's education when we are needed. We ask for an education system for all the people that support seeking your true wisdom, knowledge and understanding, and love for one another. Thank you, Father, that you are doing a new thing, giving us new ideas and providing creative, innovative, and personalized ways for each student to reach the full potential you created for them. In Jesus' name, amen. Your word has given parents the responsibility for educating their children. Therefore, we also ask for and pray into these things. We ask for and pray into these things. Number one, an educational system aligned to support the responsibility of parents for their children. Number two, an educational system that would not take the place, supplant, contradict, or negate the authority of the parents in any way, but work to support each family in raising, nurturing, and educating their children. Number three, a new understanding of public schools funding practice and purpose. Number four, an explosion of options for our families to be created. Number five, the opportunity for all families to be able to choose the educational option that best fits their child's need. Number six, godly educational systems to arise and be found excellent that in that excellence, any family that would desire to have their children benefit would be allowed to do so. Number seven, the location of residence or funding no longer be a barrier to school choice. Number eight, true wisdom is provided to discern what is the responsibility of the state and what is the responsibility of the church and family. And that separation of these two entities be based on love and respect, not fear. And finally, the core of our educational system be centered on the child and their development as mature adults, able to discern right from wrong, growing in wisdom. The core of our educational system be centered on the child and their development as mature adults, able to discern right from wrong, growing in wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen.